Hello, this is Bruce Pappas. Uh, I think I, I'm going to make a shot today and I think I have everything out that I need. So I'll just get started and explain things as I go. Uh, I've had the machine on for uh, 10 minutes. Uh, it's heated up to 0.8, uh, which is what the upper limit is. It really doesn't drop down much from that. At least my machine doesn't. It's pretty well uh, temp controlled that way. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Uh, so the first thing I do with the machine heated up, uh, I'm going to fill up my uh, espresso cup. I've got these little uh, uh, collector's cup here. So I really, really like these a lot. Actually, it's a little bit more than I like. About half full. Uh, this bleeds the false pressure, what I call the excess pressure in the boiler. And it also heats up the cup at the same time. So, Since it starts boiling, obviously you want to set it aside. Make sure you don't uh, boil, you know, um, hurt yourself, scald yourself with uh, the hot water. Uh, so the false pressure is bled. I look at my th um, temperature strips here. They show about 75 degrees. I'm going to heat this up to about 90, 95. It will cool off just a little bit. So there it goes. It's 90, 95. Uh, I catch the water in uh, a little bowl here. So I warmed up the uh, porta filter, which I then dry off. I didn't have a towel over here, which I usually use. And um, now I'm going to grind. My grinder is usually set over here a little bit farther over, but I pulled it over for this um, demonstration. I have a Poco Espresso's new Provoni blend, which you all have seen probably uh, on our group page. And I keep things in air presses, so uh, that's where I keep my beans. I'm going to weigh out 20 grams. Uh, it's a, probably about what the output is because there's not much left at all inside the uh, grinder. I have a Barazza Seti 270W grinder and there's very little left over when I'm done. Uh, this I have a barista scale which I use. And so I've got 20 grams, put it inside the grinder. This is my little single single dose uh, grinding uh, setup that I have here with a, uh, I believe this is a funnel made for canning. And then I just use a 49 millimeter tamper on top to hold it in. With the Barazza, you have to redo the, uh, the arms here to catch your uh, grind. I'm trying to go as quickly as I can here, explain at the same time. Turn on the machine. I have mine set for 40, uh, 40 grams. Uh, I'm going to change it to 20. You'll see that. Eighteen point five. Or nineteen is what I have. Nineteen one. Uh, I'm going to hit it one more time. See if there's anything left in it. Uh, there is not. It's not, oh, I got another 0.3 out of it, most likely. Okay, so now tamping. Use the uh, funnel that uh, Arthur made. Just a puck, just a hockey puck. And I'm going to distribute this by, by tamping with my um, uh, whisk here. So I really... The Brazza settee comes out with a very fine grind. There's really not much clumping. I try to flatten it a little bit, whisk a little bit. Then I also have this uh, distribution tool, which is really cool, which kind of just flattens things out, makes it really accessible for the and ready for the uh, for a tamper. Uh, my tamping, I have a just a very simple strategy. Actually, Claudio taught me. I think, and a few other people use it. Uh, I just finger tamp. I don't even press on the top. And that's what uh, makes my uh, porta filter and uh, grinds everything flat. Uh, dump the water that I just got through using. And I'm ready to uh, pull. 
So I use the uh, scale underneath because I like to weigh out my output. I dump the water from the cup. The cup's nice and warm. I do have a small leak, you may notice, from the steam wand. Um, raise the portafilter handle just underneath where the water goes in or starts to come out. It just turned back on. I just heard it come back on. Set my portafilter. Tear the cup. Turn on the timer and go to 10 seconds. 10 seconds here for my pre infusion. And then I'm going to drop down to about two bars uh, and hold it. Make sure that I keep a pressure at about two bars until I get a drip. There's a drip at 20 seconds. I go back up for another 10 seconds to fill in the group with water the rest of the way that I just pumped down into the uh, um, into the puck and now I'm ready to go I'm actually looking at nine bars here my initial pressure you can see a little bit here let's see if I can hold this a little differently so you can see it and it's a declining pressure you as it goes down right now I'm at three bars I drop quickly down I probably should apply a little bit more pressure I'm at a total of 56 seconds right now 60 seconds total so that was about 30 second pull i'm still getting a little bit out i've got 19.920 right now i'm still pushing it out you can see i've got a nice stream right now i've got 24 point 26 seconds i'm still dripping a little bit i usually try to get about 28 out of this and i think i'm right there right now i'm at 28.9 pull the espresso do a little swirl Maybe have a look here if you can see what's going on here. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm catching any excess out of here and I'll take a sip. Oh, that's good. Thanks for watching.